Welcome back to the Forensics Unplugged channel, guys. So I've just been doing all my notes on all of these glass sealants. I've applied every single one now. It's taken me the best part of three days because some of them got, have got to be left like for a day or like three or four hours. So that slows you right down. It's, I'm sick of applying glass sealants, to be honest. Um, which one of these glass sealants now, because I finished all the testing, so I want to strip, I want to do a good strip down on my glass and get everything off it right the way to the edge, all the way around. Maybe a bit preemptive because I'll probably end up having to mess around, test some more, but I might use the old Porsche. Which one, so I'm going to strip down with that 3M abrasive and a rayon pad, which is quite an effective little combo for getting these off, surely. Um, which one do I want to use? So in this box, we've got... I'm just going to dig out like pro sort of like ones that perhaps you get less product like professional ones you can argue the duck's back's more of a kind of professional one as well um and then the oh that nanolex uh, sorry that blabo would be like a professional one looks like it, doesn't it? a little coating bottle i'll tell you what i'll talk about that in a second so i'm getting i'm forming opinions on all these products now and i'll just quickly quickly just bear with me do a process of elimination so i'm just going to eliminate the car pro with the application method they got there there's no buff and it leaves little circles and i think i'm pretty sure i got judder yeah i got judder when it was wet so i'm eliminating that g technic i think is a lot better really great instructions it's only 10 pound 99 um pretty good stuff but i got a little bit of wet wiper judder with it and you've got to put three layers of it on which really slows you down so i'm just doing this very quickly i'm going to eliminate that the carbon collective less judder pretty good instructions although the prep doesn't say about polishing glass and that can be essential if you've got residues claying it and using glass cleaner doesn't always get all of that off good glass polish on a machine does that's just the stuff we're picking up on here bit very smooth to apply that the two layer thing just i've got to put two layers on it and it's not the most hydrophobic it's pretty beady but it's not the most hydrophobic absolutely not um so i'd eliminate that one the nanolex amazing instructions this is a kit but you can just buy the sealant so assume we've got the sealant but the instructions in here tell you everything you need to know how to prep a glass sealant you know using polish degreasing afterwards really good very comprehensive, um, very easy product to apply, but I did get a bit of wet wiper judder, unfortunately. Um, that's a pretty good product. The Ducks back, it's 25 quid, and you get two applicators that once you crack open, you have to use. And So you get two applications, really, and that's it. It's not quite as beady as some of the other ones, and it just I found it a bit harder to buff and get a clean finish with. So it's probably a no for me on the duck's back. The Labo one, at the moment, we're lacking the instructions for this. This is a hot, off-the-press product, so I'm really interested to see the instructions. This chemical is very strong. You need to really be ventilated when you're working in it. It really hits you hard. Like this, out of all the professional ones, is the ones that you really kind of need to treat like a coating, whatever's in it, you know, even if it's probably not a ceramic coating, but whatever it is, it's strong stuff. But the results are good. It passed on all of the dry judder, wet judder, ghosting, streaking. It's really nice and smooth, silky to buff. The only downside, and it's beady as hell as well, the only downside is that this is definitely like a strong chemical, a strong solvent, very strong stuff. But that would be my choice, I think, just very we haven't finished the testing yet so everything can change but at the moment that perhaps might be the professional choice um but we don't know i've got to see the durability testing first then we're over to these ones where you get rather than getting like 30 mil of chemical or whatever you get two times eight mil 15 mil or 30 mil whatever you get in here 15 mil you get hardly any glass sealant all these ones over here, you get loads. And you get love for multiple applications. That just sits a bit better with, in my head. So I like the idea of getting loads. Uh, I'm going to rule out the stoners because I it's quite a grippy buff. Um, it's a grippy buff. But it did pass. Oh, yeah, it passed the judder 
thing and it passed the wet judder um, and it didn't streak on me but it it was a patchy finish that you can see when it's wet and it's a grippy buff but it kind of works but there's others i think that are a little bit better the rain x was really easy to apply really easy to buff the instructions are very simple but I follow them and i just didn't have any problems and it just worked it was really good um yeah it was pass very minor white film that you could see on the car but you get a bit of that with all of them but yeah it's a pass pretty good stuff that my concern perhaps at the moment is durability so but that, i haven't ruled that one out yet um angel wax h2 go really beady really repellent for me like one of the beadiest um pass dry buff wet you know dry wipe judder none wet wiper none no ghosting no patchiness no no nothing really um Actually, though, well, the only downside with this is for best results, you've got to do two layers with a 20-minute cure time. That's a real pain. It's a real pain. I suppose you could say, well, just do one layer, John. But for best results, you want that punch. You want that durability. Uh, and having to apply any of them twice is a, is a bit of a downer. But that is a very good product, actually. Uh, let's go on with the Gion. So the Gion, the problem with this Gion is the instructions... They get you to put it on in circles. So you prep your glass. They tell you to clay and clean, but not to polish. And sometimes you do need to polish. Claying can get off the contamination, but it can't strip every bit of product residue if you've had a glass sealant on there. So they and and lots of them do cover that. Like the Nanolex and the G Technic, just the instructions are just A1. When you apply this, it tells you to put it on in circles, wait for it to cure, and then wet buff it. But that doesn't get off all of the circular cure residues, which is something I talked about a long time ago. But I have to follow the instructions. So I'm ruling that out, because if I follow the instructions, I don't get the perfect results. If I deviate off, if I put it, I, do, I can do circles, but then if I do straight lines up and down to finish, um, and then wet buff and then dry buff, it's absolutely fine. But I've got to go by what, what I'm being told. So that leaves, leaves me down here with four. These are probably my probably my four favourite, but that one's still got a sweet spot for that. That's it's just the amount you get with that that doesn't tie in with what I want. So I've got two here. The Glaco, the instructions are very good. They tell you to prep it with the glass compound. And if you do that, you strip everything off. That glass compound is a really good product, although I use the 3D because we're trying to use a neutral thing you know we're not trying to use any manufacturer's prep we're just using a neutral method to benchmark with a 3d glass polish you then use this applicator and like the geon these applicators are the way to go you know if i was releasing forensics glass sealant product i'm not <laughs> don't worry um that's what i would be using yeah so these applicators are great you follow the instructions you put it on in crisscross you let it cure, you wet buff it, and then you dry buff it. You know, you get everything off to a residue, you know, residue free finish. And it pass on dry wiper judder, wet wiper judder, ghosting and patchiness. It does have a bit more film there. So that double, that wet buff followed by a dry buff is good. The problem with this Glaco DX is that I know there are more durable products on the market. So, you know, I know that the Ultra lasts longer than this but that is a good glass seal one of the most beadiest as well one of the most hydrophobic so you the visibility thing so i wouldn't rule that out if you're really interested in like the performance of the beading but it's that i know this product so i know the durability is down a little bit but that would be probably in the top four something like that pretty decent now this one here this is the surprise one of the bunch now the negatives this lid leaks you can see the fluid in there if i take that little bit off it will all run down the side of the bottle if i turn it upside down squeeze it 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 just leaks liquid and that gets all over your hands as well you should always glove up i'm not gloving up because i'm having to film when i do this stuff um about two or three different cameras all with touch screens you get they absolutely brim this product it brimmed right to the top when i started using it um this product Lacks prep instructions in terms of using a glass polish, but it does tell you about the importance of cleaning the glass, but it doesn't tell you about prep, and that's so important with glass polish. So I think, 
you know, you should always polish a glass surface to get it all hydrophilic and clear, then you're good to go. You spray this on, you spread it. They tell you to use a sponge and a sponge grips and sticks to glass. It doesn't make the best applicator. Okay, so I was thinking, I got that wrong. But, and, and to be honest, when I first saw this, I just thought it's gonna be another glass sealant. But then the claim to fame with this is when you buff it, there's virtually no residue. It just like melts into the glass and it's really slick when you buff it. And they've got, you, there's no cure. So you just spread it out and then buff it. It's the easiest to buff off the panel. And usually the whole thing with glass sealants is going around chasing all this residue to like buffing the hell out of it to get a clean finish. Well, this was the easiest one after applying to just buff to a completely clear diamond glass finish, like it says. That is really, it's different to any of the other ones in the, in the test. And it passed on dry judder, wet judder, ghosting, patchiness. And I was just left thinking, yeah, that's really good. This is really good stuff. And it beads like crazy as well. That could be a contender to win, I think. Uh, I, I haven't got my pricing info, but I think it's relative price per application is going to be really good because of the amount you get. I think it's out of all of the products here, you get the, amount, the most of it. So at the moment, this is a real contender to win. If it can stand up and be durable, that might be its Achilles heel. Don't know yet. Um, so in terms of which one I would put on my glass, it would actually be one of these four now. I've got to really whittle them down. It's tough. I'll whittle, whittle the Rain-X down because I, I don't think it's going to last as long, which might be a bit unfair, but that's just my opinion. It's not... It's pretty beady as well. We've got all this hydrophobic data. Next, I'm going to whittle down the host to go because I can't be bothered to put two coats on. And I really can't and wait 20 minutes each time. Next, I'm going to rule out the Labo because, my God, it's whatever's in it is so potent and strong. I'd have to glove up, all that sort of stuff. And I'm going to put the Infinity Wax Diamond on because I was so impressed with it. I want to give it another whirl. I want to actually see it on my car as well, see what it's like, see how that holds up. Very good stuff. Potential winner at this moment in time. Very. I'll publish this after the main video because I've done this before where I thought this one's really great, you know. And then something, it proves to be rubbish in terms of durability or something. I'm not saying it is, you know. You get the idea, things can change. But at the moment, after applying them all, this is the one that I want to put on my glass right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.